Hello, my name is Connor Smith, and welcome back to another episode of Data in the Wild, hosted by Data Meaning. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today we're going to cover how to create your first Alteryx workflow. Let's get started. After opening Alteryx, you'll see the Start Here screen. You can always just click Add New Blank Workflow. And after adding a blank workflow, you'll see a blank canvas here indicating that you should drop some tools here to build. Building your first workflow is as simple as dragging a file from File Explorer. I'll use this month's data here. I'll drop it onto the canvas. It'll prompt me for a sheet. I'll choose the data sheet. Press OK. You'll notice a couple of things when building Alteryx workflows. Initially, with any input data file, you'll see a kind of data preview, if you would. But you also see bottom in your results window, there's no data currently available. To get the results window to populate with data, all you have to do is run your workflow. Press run top right hand corner. You'll see that the results window now populates with the data loaded in from your initial file. Next, I'll keep this workflow really simple. We'll just filter on a particular column. In this case, we'll filter on the city column. We can do so by going to this preparation tool palette and adding a filter tool onto the canvas. Once that filter tool has been added, we can select the column we'd like to filter on, in this case city. And then if I click on the input anchor for the filter tool, I can actually take a look at my data right before the filter is applied. And I can say that I want to filter my city equals to Denver or Aurora or Parker I'll go with Parker because I don't think there's very many Parkers. So I'm going to copy the city from here. Control C. I'm going to paste it over here just so that way the spelling is exactly the same. If you get a typo, obviously you'll have issues. I can now press run. And upon running my workflow, I can still see when I clicked on the input anchor, there's 50 records going into this filter tool and coming out of the filter tool for Parker, there's only two records. So where this condition satisfied, all of those records come out to the T output anchor. Okay? The F output anchor has everything else where this condition's not satisfied. After this filter tool, we can add our output. We can go to the in input output tool palette, add a output data tool. You can choose really any different file types you'd like to. Click on the drop down here. and go pick your file type. I'll just do a simple Excel file. So I'll do XLSX and I'll save this as my output data. I'll even save it as output data demo. Press save here. And for the sheet, I'll just do output. Press OK. Now, this file has not been created yet. What I'll need to do to actually create the file is run this workflow. If I press run, you'll see a couple of things when creating an Excel file. Initially, I click anywhere white on my canvas. You can see that this output file was indeed created successfully. But if I try to press this run button again, I'll likely see an error. The error I'm seeing is indicating that this output sheet that I'm trying to create already exists. And since it already exists, I cannot create that sheet again, right? I'm indicating that I'd like to create a new sheet. Well, if the sheet already exists, I'm not allowed to do that. If I want to overwrite a sheet that already exists, instead of the create new sheet, I can choose to overwrite sheet arrange. That will resolve the issue. So I'm going to press run and just show you how now it has resolved the, the error. And I'm successfully outputting my data to that file under the output sheet name. 
Now, if I open this Excel file, to show you what the data looks like here. I'll show you one more common issue you may run into. Okay, so here's your output file. You can see it's just those two records that were outputted. All right, if I try to run my workflow while this file is open, I likewise receive an error saying unable to open the file. If you scroll over to the right here, you'll see that the process cannot access the file because it's being used by another process. All right, so just two common issues you may run into as you're, as you're building your own workflows. So I'll close that Excel file, press run one more time, and you see that issue has been resolved. So pretty easy setup to build a very, very basic workflow. Um, obviously, we'll want to know how to save, and that's pretty intuitive. You just go into File, Save As, Browse, and then just browse to wherever you'd like to save that workflow. And then name it whatever you'd like to save it as. I'm going to do Demo 2 here. Press Save. Now I've got a reusable process. Now, if I wanted to, I can quickly update that input file. Click here. And I can browse here to change the input file instead of this month's data. Perhaps I can select next month's data instead. So next month's data, again, will prompt me for the sheet name. Press OK here. Press Run. Now I'll run through that same process that I built for this month's data, but using next month's data. That wraps up today's quick video on how to build your first Alteryx workflow. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.